and good evening, Steve Lauren. Very important topic. North Carolina ranks 11th in the nation for new prostate cancer cases and 20th for deaths. This means it's the second leading cause of cancer death for black men in the state just behind lung cancer. Flea Noel Lane Jr. says he understands why Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin was private about his prostate diagnosis. Lane is a husband, father, and business executive from Durham who has his own story. I remember when I was diagnosed, I didn't tell my wife until I had to go for a biopsy. And then I shared it with him and I didn't share it with my children for probably, I guess, seven years afterwards. Lane says some of his hesitation stems from witnessing his father and three uncles die from prostate cancer. Provided for my family, I, you know, have a certain amount of pride and, and want to be that caretaker. And so I didn't want to scare them. At 53, Lane's blood tests were positive for cancer. The most common symptom of prostate cancer is nothing at all. So it's very easy to ignore this. Black men are 1.7 times more likely to be diagnosed with prostate cancer and 2.3 times more likely to die compared to white men, according to UNC at Chapel Hill. If there's a family history, meaning there's a brother, uncle, or father with prostate cancer, men should start to be screened for prostate cancer or have a discussion with their doctors about being screened at a younger age, somewhere around 40. Screening includes a physical portion and a blood test. And that's very informative in terms of identifying men who may be harboring prostate cancer and perhaps would then benefit from a prostate biopsy. Dr. Leroy Darks works in internal medicine and also leads the NC Minority Prostate Cancer Awareness Action Team. For decades, the group has provided outreach to churches, civic groups, and schools. It wasn't because we were African-American men. It was because if we get screened properly, uh, we can do as well as everyone else. In 2023, Darks became a patient and was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Why me? How could this possibly happen after all this? I mean, you know, all of that. Darks says it was a survivor, or shepherd as the action team calls them, that guided him through the recovery. One, my faith uh, is what got me through, of course. And two, I had a, an excellent shepherd. Early action and treatment for black men means life. What I would want men to hear and see is here I am. I'm a survivor. So we know talking about this subject can be difficult, but it's necessary. So we definitely have the action team's contact information on our website. So be sure to check that out. Lauren, back to you.